What up, Diecast Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG, back in the workshop studio. Hope all you guys are having a blessed day. Feeling pretty good myself, gang. Uh, first thing I want to say is welcome to all new subscribers. Uh, welcome, welcome to the studio. Anybody who might be watching for the first time, if you enjoy the content, you can take the time to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell, turn on all post notifications. So you won't miss a single video from your boy. First of all, I got an announcement to make. Um, your boy did not show up. Um, Kevin Gray did not show up. Still haven't heard from him as of now as this video is being recorded. Uh, Kevin Gray had 48 hours to contact me after he won the giveaway. Like I said, I still haven't heard from Kevin Grace. So, congratulations to Johnny Coolness. Johnny Coolness, you are now the official winner of the giveaway. You also, my friend, have 48 hours to contact me via Facebook, Instagram, or you can email me. I know everybody don't have Instagram or Facebook, but, you know, you should be able to email me or find some type of way to, to message me. Um, that way I can communicate with you, find out what items you choose for the giveaway, and also I have to get your shipping information. Item will be shipped out to you free of charge. So um, thanks again for everybody who participated in round one of the giveaway. Now today we're going to move on to round two. Um, I have a whole new spreadsheet set out for you guys. All the different dates of round part two, really round two. It's going to be another part, part three. So, um, Johnny Coolness, you will have an opportunity to choose from the three different packages that were set out. I'm going to go over the items again momentarily. But, um, you know, after Johnny Coolness picks the item, that he chooses he will be eliminated from part two and three so we should have a new winner for part two of the giveaway so um you know this is the second time this has happened in a row it happened at 900 subscribers now it's happening again at a thousand and it's kind of surprising because it's never happened like Prior to 900 subscribers, it's just, I don't know. You guys got to really, really pay attention to the dates. I'm going to go over the spreadsheet for the uh, part two of the giveaway. If you enter part one and you didn't win, you have to re-enter part two. Um, you have to re-enter. You know, I'm not going to re-enter you from part one in this case. You just... You just miss. You have to re-enter all over again, unfortunately. But you will have opportunity. I only had 19 participants in round one, so you guys really have to pay attention because your 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 chances of winning, you know, is pretty good with only 19 participants. So it could be anybody. Please, guys, pay attention. Let's go over the spread. Alrighty guys, here we go. This is a brand new spreadsheet that I wrote out for you guys. Um part two of the giveaway. Um you could might want to take an opportunity to screenshot this. Um and follow the dates. Especially if you enter the giveaway. Don't want nobody to miss out and I don't want anybody to say that I didn't give you all the layout for the rules but here we are a thousand subscriber appreciation giveaway part two of three it starts today which is monday november the 6th 2023 it's gonna end sunday november 12 2023 at midnight so that's you have from today until monday to to enter this giveaway the only catch is you must be subscribed to enter it's really, really simple, gang. To answer, simply get in the comments. 
comment, I would like to enter the giveaway down in the comment section of this video game. All you have to do is leave this comment. Like I said before, if you enter part one, you have to re-enter part two. Because it's going to continue, guys. One of the packages will be eliminated. There will be two more groups of cars, packages remaining. So um, I would do the drawing Monday, November 13th, live on Facebook, 10 o'clock a.m. Central. So this has changed, guys. Last time I did the drawing on Tuesday. This time I will do it on Monday. It's coming 13th if you're watching this video today. Um, 10 a.m. Central Time, guys. You do not have to be watching the drawing live on Facebook. I know that everybody don't have Facebook. So uh, to, to watch live is not a requirement. I will pick the winner and do elimination spin on uh, the computer, on my laptop. Do a um, contest generator that I got set up. I do an elimination spin. The last person on the wheel on the spinoff will win round two of this giveaway. If you missed, if you like I said, you don't have to be there to watch the live because I will announce the winner on YouTube. This will happen Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. Sometime on Tuesday, November the 14th, I will drop a video on YouTube announcing the winner, whoever wins. So this is an important date. This is really the only date you have to really look out for. Once this drop, and I announce the winner. If you so happen to be the winner, um, you will have 48 hours to contact me. But anybody subscribed, including overseas viewers, can enter this giveaway. I'm including overseas viewers um, in these thousand subscriber giveaways. So. Like I said, winner will have 48 hours. Contact me via Facebook, Instagram, or email after I announce the winner on YouTube. Good luck to all the subscribers and all the entries. So, pretty basic, guys. Pretty plain and simple. Um, I'm going to go over the giveaway items once again. Then I have a, a little treat for you guys. I've been holding off. I got some new items and I want to do some wheel swaps that I've been holding off on for the last few days. As usual, your boy been busy. Kind of clogged up with work, but this is big. This is huge, guys. And I want to keep it flowing, keep it in order. Uh, once this ends, I will do the last part three or three with what's ever remaining. And... I just once again want to say good luck to all you guys and thank you guys to everybody who participated. Let's get it. Alrighty, gang, here we go. Like I mentioned before, I had three separate groups of cars. So, Johnny Coolness got first dibs on these three sets of, um, three sets of cars. So, going to go over them once again so you guys can know. Whichever one Johnny Coolness picks, there will be two left remaining groups. So this is kind of behind. The first group should have been picked already um, by Kevin Gray, but unfortunately Kevin Gray didn't show up. So I um, uh, apologize to Kevin Gray, but Kevin Gray, you can re-enter in part two of this giveaway if you so happen to want to uh, re-answer, but uh, you will have whatever re a choice of remaining if you so happen to win. You know, you just got to pay attention next time. So, here we are. Group 1, once again, was a set of five Batmobiles from Jay of the Toys, 1 in 30 second scale, 1 in 32, 1 in 30 second. I'll come with a little die cast figure. And they are die cast figures, guys. Really nice pieces. I have them all in one in 24 scale in my collection. 
as you can see if I zoom in right there from Batman's all the way across so I do have the same sets I think they come uh, they have a few extra ones in 1 and 24 scale but these are all the ones that come in 1 one thirty second scale that I know of gang so this is a complete set with an extra piece and a 1 in 24 scale premium Mercedes Benz this is the premium guys the one with the real wide tires metal frame metal body yeah it's the 2012 Mercedes Benz C63 AMG Coupe Black Series cards in a pretty good condition that's set one <clears throat> set two would be Fast and Furious Jeep Gladiator and Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR BNR34 in the teal color you get both of these pieces with including four Hot Wheels a set of Hot Wheels which is the custom Ford Maverick the the Barbie 56 Corvette, the 60 um, 62 Corvette Gasser, and 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition, which happened to be Treasure Hunt. So you will get all this two pieces and four pieces. <laughs> Then last but not least, I have a 1 in 24 scale green light, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1971 C10. And also Motor Max Pagani Hydra 1 in 18 scale. And also I have a Hot Wheels Nissan 5 pack that you can also choose from. So, pretty much have the option to choose once group set 3, set 2, or set 1. And this is for Johnny Coolness. So, like I said, anybody else who enters will have an opportunity to pick what's ever remaining. Uh, once again, appreciate. Thanks to all to all you guys. Um, this is just a token of my appreciation, and you know, I just wanted to go to a good home. Really, so I can. Once you have it, you can do whatever you want to with it. It's your set. You can give it away, you can sell it, you can add it to your collection. It's just a bonus. Um, now you have it, gang. Right now in this video, guys, we're going to get on to a wheel swap. I'm, I got some new items that I want to show you guys. And I also want to do some wheel swaps. You guys seem to love the, the wheel swap videos. And guess what, guys? I love bringing them to you. So let's get it. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. Got two brand new 1 in 24 scales by Jada. Um, I want to apologize if you can hear the noise of the washing machine. Well, my wife, you know, decided that she had to wash, but I got 1971 Pontiac Firebird. No, it's a 77. I apologize. 77 Firebird and 71 Chevy Chevelle SS. Two very nice pieces I seen at Walmart just this past week. And both of them caught my eye, guys. Uh, couldn't leave them behind. But the Firebird box was kind of damaged pretty bad. It's a big crack right here in the box. It's pretty damaged. And um, I put a piece of tape on it because this whole part was lifting up. On the side of the box. The car doesn't look too badly damaged, but we're going to get it out and take a closer look. The reason I put a couple pieces of tape is because I took some pictures of it, of the car, and posted it on Facebook. 
but here we are two actually these are 2020 2023 releases so they're somewhat new releases this one in particular firebird i didn't even know about this casting and these particular wheels so the wheels is what kind of actually caught my attention on this one i'll tell you a little bit more about it in a minute but as usual guys let's get them out the box and get a closer look at them Alrighty, guys here we are both cars fresh out the pack both cars really looking good i really really like these wheels on this car first speak a little bit on the Trans Am. At first glance, I really like these wheels on this car. Um, we do have a little scratch on the door. That was probably from the damage on the box. Um, something might have hit, hit the door right there. I'm not sure, but on the side that I couldn't see, I flipped the car around. I noticed that back wheel was kind of a little bit discolored almost look like black chrome more so than it's bright so I actually had a flaw on that side also so um, it's kind of disappointing because I really really love these wheels I love the offset on them the back wheel has such a such a deeper lip than the front in real life, it'd probably be like a seven to eight inch lip on the back, and maybe like a three inch lip on the front. The front, but we don't get these. I want to do a wheel swap. I'm gonna get to that in a moment. But here's the Seville. Seville looking lovely. I love these 71s. It's probably my favorite year of the Chevelle. Got a, a few other cars on the table that I want to go over. A few more 71 Chevelles and 69 Chevelle. I only have a couple of 69s. That's my other 69 right here. Go over them momentarily, but just wanted to show you guys to do some comparisons but getting back to the to the trans am some people call it firebird pontiac firebird trans am whatever you want to call it big time muscle now this will make this will make the uh the fifth trans am i have in the collection here's another one right here that Jada released not too long ago, maybe last year or the year before, but I will swap it right out the box. Um, I also have the, um, this will be the Fast and Furious version. It looks real similar to the Bandit. I want to swim. We'll swap this one also. Got a lot on my mind right now, gang. Thinking about taking the wheels off of this one and putting it on this one and painting the faces gold on these wheels, leaving the chrome lip, but just painting the faces around it gold and swapping it with this car and giving this car some um, some different wheels get to that momentarily but I also got Pennywise here this is the blue um, Trans Am that came with Pennywise a little different I had a figure that came on the inside of the car 
And then, of course, it also came with the Pennywise figure. But, you know, I love these. I love my Pontiacs, period. You know, I'm a big Pontiac fan. I'm the owner of a 2001 Pontiac Grand Prix GT that's... Um, I haven't drove in quite a while since in my garage, but I'm a big Pontiac fan, and this new edition, I just wanted to show you some of the other editions I have. I also have the Bandit. I might as well pull that one out, too, show you all five. Um, I gotta grab it. I'm gonna stop the video. Let me see, now you want to post, too. But... Here's the bandit right here. Maybe a little dusty. Like I said, the bandit looks a lot like the Fast and Furious version. They are a little different. Bandit has a lot more gold trim around the windows and around the edges that this one don't have. That's that game. Got a lot going on here now. Move some of these cars around. But speaking of custom, this is a um, custom frame I did a while back. It's a 1971. I mean, 1970 Chevelle. Um, actually swapped these wheels did the wheel swap on my blue Chevelle over here so these wheels were actually on this this is the same car 1970 Chevelle so they had the same base so basically what I did I wanted to see how these wheels looked on the red Chevelle so what I did was just swap the base from that car to this car the red Chevelle had these wheels and this base not too long ago. So I swapped it to this and I had to do an extensive amount of cutting. And these are actually tape wheels. I taped them with some electrical tape gang. They can actually take the wheels. It's a little more stiff. It rolls a lot more smoother without the wheels. And it gives it that low profile look. I kind of like it. I've done it to a lot of my cars, a lot of my customs. I don't really roll them around too much or play with them. I just take photos. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing to this Chevelle gang, adding some big, some big wheels like that and customizing it. But I'm doing too much talking. Let's get back to because <laughs> we got two wheel swaps to do today, gang. I'm gonna swap this. Brand new Trans Am, and the wheels I'm gonna swap it with is off of this um, Dodge Charger Daytona that I got from Fast and Furious. I already started working on it, guys, trying to get these wheels off so it, the base is already, you know, I've already started working on the game. So I think these wheels. They got a slight little offset, not as deep as the ones that's on the Firebird right now, but I think they're going to look real nice, and hopefully we can uh, fit these wheels on the Daytona, but I'm going to get right to it, guys. I done gave y'all plenty of tutorials how I swapped the wheels. I'm going to be using my heat tool. I got it right here, guys. Heat that rod up. Take a little patience, use all my safety precautions, and I'm gonna get this swap done off a of video, guys, because I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna swap this car, I'm gonna get to that afterwards. So I'm not gonna record all that because the video, I don't want the video to be too long, too, too long. So as soon as I swap them, I'm gonna show them to you guys. Let's get it. Alrighty, gang, just like that, got the two cars swapped. Uh, starting off with the Trans Am. 
pretty easy swap. I actually love the way it turned out, gang. I had to do a tutorial. Um, I actually had to add some straws, some little pieces of straw. Um, just a regular restaurant straw. I had to slice it and put it in between the rod and the wheel to keep the wheel from wobbling back and forth. I don't know if you guys ever did swap and had your wheels wobbling. It takes a few tries to get it maybe to get the right cut. Just a small little bit of piece of straw. Keep that keep that rod steady, keep the wheel steady. And it's looking really good guys. I like that one. Now the charger on the other hand gang. It's gonna need a little bit more work. Um the wheels is kinda tough to get on, especially on the front. Got a nice little tuck on the back and a little movement, as you can see. They're on there and screwed down. Um, in the front, not much room at all, guys. I had to do a little bit of cutting. Cut some of the wheel wheel out. I cut some of the tire. I cut some of the rod. And it still wouldn't, I still couldn't get any movement out of it. So, um, yeah. Here it's kind of getting in, but I know I can get it to roll, guys. But it's gonna take a bit more work, kind of like what I did on the Chevelle. I'm gonna cut out on the back. It took a lot of work to fit that, so um, at a later time I get back to to making this work. I might even bring it down a little bit more, cause the thing about it, these chargers got that tuck. They really didn't tuck that much on the um, on this car, the Trans Am. So let me know what you guys think about the new Trans Am look. This looks pretty good. I'll get it to rolling later. But moving along, guys, I want to get to this Chevelle. Get back to this '71 Chevelle, guys. I want to do something different to this. Now, um, I have a few different options. Before I get to it, I'm gonna show you some of my other Chevelles. You got one right here. I got three other examples. These is kind of like last year releases, actually. I really love this gray one. smoke gray these are actually the wheels that came with them with these two and actually I got one more to show you guys this is the cream of the crop this one right here guys I've had this Chevelle right here for well over 15 probably closer to 20 years now and it's an original from the original Jitter Toys group company um, 1971 Chevelle in pretty much pristine condition guys she just got a bath not too long ago wheels and everything is in absolute immaculate in this car This is kind of some of the detail that Jada did back in the day. Jada Oak, the old Jada company. Yeah. And short story, guys, back in the early in my collecting, when I used to collect, I, I, I had a thing for not collecting uh, multiple of the same car. I might have mentioned this before, but um, I only had one of each casting, like, they had another one, a black and white version back in the day, and uh, maybe a couple of others that I'm not familiar with, but um, I usually only try to grab one of everything Jada made, which is really tough to do, 
you know, um, I was kind of a late bloomer. I was grabbing a few miles here and there that I liked, but I wasn't the type of collector that tried to collect everything. Just picking up things that I liked at the store generally when I synced it, but this one is really old. I had it for a while. It's now then generated some nice little value because it's rare now. It's hard to find. Anybody that's selling one might want at least 50 or 60 bucks for this particular casting. I said at least. But this one, you would think like it's close to the same color. It's funny how Jaded Dudes does these colors because this is nowhere near the same color even though it's red and white. It might look close to the same, but it's not. This one, let's look under the hood. As you can see, they went with an all-white motor, all-white interior. Very little, they got a chrome mirror up there, very little on the gauge. And uh, from the trunk, I don't think they gave you nothing. Oh, they gave us speakers in the amp, but they white. I didn't even notice that at first. You see, they gave us chrome detail back in early on. But, tailpipe, you can see, it's all chromed out. A little more attention to detail on the, on the older version. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blacked out. It's hard to see on the camera. On that version, but... Enough of me blabbing on. This is my fourth Chevelle 71. So I got two cars. I'm debating on swapping the wheels out on with. And I'm going to show you guys. Starting off with the Mustang. I have a Mustang with some white wheels that I customized already. Now, I think these wheels will look good on Chevelle. Just be going with the all white interior custom Chevelle look. I want to uh, try these white wheels on. They're the same size all the way around and they're offsets. And I also think that these wheels wouldn't look bad on the Mustang so either that my other option was have a Camaro with some blaze on it think about swapping these two out putting the Camaro wheels on the Chevelle and the Chevelle wheels on the Camaro they both like the same size same offset I don't know. I think I want to go a different route game with the Chevelle. I set this one off a little different. I'll try these white wheels on it. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. <laughs> no more debating, guys. That was just my two options I wanted to show you. I'm going to go ahead and do the wheel swap. Try to get it done and show you guys the results. Let's get it. All right, guys, I decided to change my mind halfway through the wheel swap. I decided to swap the Camaro instead of the, the Mustang. So here are the results, guys. This Chevelle looking mighty, mighty fine. I really love these wheels, guys. And... The Camaro, the 71 Camaro, actually looks stunning as well. Perfect swap, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Halfway through swapping the wheels, I realized that the Mustang wheels right here wasn't going to, was not the same color white for one. And that big wheel on the front of the Chevelle 
wouldn't done it any, any justice. It just has that that mean aggressive look. And I love it guys. Love the way it turned out. Now I can set it next to this other 71. Which also has five spoke wheels. Old school max. Way to go. There you have it, guys. I'm not going to keep the video too much longer. I know I said I was going to do a Grand National wheel swap, which I'm still planning on doing. Uh, I put it aside because, for one, I got excited about these new cars. And for two, it's going to be a, a bit more work. I want to do some paint work on the Grand National on the interior and maybe on the wheels as well. So I'm going to get back to that. Um, hopefully as soon as tomorrow, guys, if I have the time and energy tomorrow to cut another video and drop another video tomorrow, I will do that. It might be a late up and low. It might not. I'm not sure. But... Thanks, you guys, for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please remember to hit that like button. It helps me out a great deal. And uh, if you subscribe, you can get back involved in round two of this giveaway. Starting off live as live today, guys, we speak. So, once again, congratulations to Johnny Coolness. I expect to be hearing from you real soon. Until next video, guys, peace and love. I'm out.